Hi everyone, welcome to Parthi Yoga, I'm Parthi. Today we'll be doing a short yoga practice that can easily be done by beginners on a daily basis. You don't need any props for this practice. So once you're ready, let's hop onto the mat and get going. So we'll start by coming into a standing position. Bring your feet hip distance apart. Spread the toes wide and distribute the weight evenly on all the four corners of the feet. Engage your legs by pulling the kneecaps up. Engage your core by pulling the navel in and tucking the tailbone slightly in. Elongate the spine and roll the shoulders back. From here, bring both the hands in front and interlace the fingers. And as you inhale, start extending both the arms up and raise your heels up to come into Tarasana. Stretch your entire body up feeling a nice stretch along the sides of the body. Let's stay here for a breath, focusing on a point in front and then slowly come back. Very good. We'll do it two more times. Inhale, extend up, focusing on a point in front to find your balance. Keep stretching up, feeling a nice stretch in your shoulders as your chest opens and come down. Last time, interlace the fingers, inhale, extend up. Keep stretching up and keep breathing. And as you exhale, bring both the hands down. Very good. Now let's come to the top of the mat. Keeping your feet hip distance apart, we are going to do an easy forward fold. Bring your hands to your hips. As you inhale, extend the spine up. And as you exhale, start bending forward, keeping the spine long. You can have a gentle bend in your knees. Once you're halfway down, slowly come all the way down, bringing your hands to the mat. Now let's just hang here for a couple of breaths so you can grab your opposite elbows and let's just hang here rolling side to side. You can try to straighten your knees here to feel a gentle stretch in the back of your legs. Again bring both the hands onto the mat and then slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time to come all the way up. So we'll do this two more times. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, start bending forward, keeping the spine long, looking forward. And then roll all the way down. Straighten both the legs if you can to feel a stretch in the back of the legs. Let's stay here for the breath. And slowly roll up. Last time. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, fold forward. See if this time you can do it without bending the knees. And then having a slight bend in the knees, roll all the way down. Now bring your hands on either sides of the feet. And then step the right foot back and bring the right knee onto the mat to come into low lunge. Look forward. You can point the right foot back. Bring both your hands to your hips first. From here, try to square your hips forward so that they are pointing forward and try to sort of pull the right hip forward. Then as you inhale, extend both the arms up to come into Anjanayasana. Now here, you can start pushing the hips forward to feel a nice stretch in the right hip flexor in front of the right thigh. And let's stay here for a breath. 
slowly bring the hands down and then step the left foot back to come into a tabletop position. Here, keep your hands below your shoulders and knees below the hips. Look forward and we are going to do a couple of cat-cow stretches. So as you inhale, elongate the spine and look up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, curl the spine, tuck the tailbone in and bring the chin to the chest. Again, inhale, extend up, looking up. Exhale, curl down. Inhale, up. Exhale, curl down. Creating space between each vertebrae. And come back to center. Now we are going to step the right foot forward to do the low lunge on the right side. So your hands and the toes of the right leg should be in one line. Look forward. Once you find your balance, bring your hands to your hips. Try to square the hips forward. Trying to pull everything towards the midline between your legs. And then as you inhale, extend both the arms up to come into Anjanayasana. Now from here, if you're here, that's perfectly fine. You can also start pushing the hips forward to get a nice stretch in the left hip flexor. Let's stay here for a breath, opening the chest towards the ceiling. And then slowly bring the hands down and again step back to come into a tabletop position. From here, tuck your toes in. Look forward, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, start pushing the hips up to come into downward facing dog or adho mukhswanasana. So let's just keep our heels raised for now and then let's just start paddling the legs to walk our dog. So bend the left knee and stretch the right leg. Breathing into the back of the right leg and then reverse bending the right knee and straightening the left and let's just walk the dog a few times to create some space in our hamstrings and calf muscles finally straighten both the legs now from here try to start pushing your heels towards the mat it's completely fine if they don't go all the way down it'll come with practice start pushing your chest towards the thighs and extend the tailbone towards the ceiling. Let's take a breath in and out here in downward facing dog. And then slowly bring the knees down, push the hips back to come into child's pose. Extend your arms out and let's keep taking a few deep breaths in the back of our chest and the lower back. very good now staying in child's pose press both your hands firmly into the mat and let's start sliding forward slowly taking our head and shoulders towards the hands to come down onto the mat then keeping your hands on either sides of the shoulders let's get into bhujangasana the cobra pose so as you inhale, extend the torso up, 
to come into Bhujangasana. So keep your elbows tugged in and your shoulders roll back so that they are away from your ears. Look up diagonally and then stay here for a breath and come down and we are going to do this once more. Again, inhale, extend the torso up to come diagonally up. Keep pointing your toes back, pressing the tops of the feet onto the mat. Keep the glute muscles engaged so that you don't hurt your lower back. One more breath and then slowly come down and relax. Bring both your hands in front, one on top of each other. And you can rest your forehead on that in Makarasana. Then take both your hands back and tuck them below your thighs. Bring the chin to the mat and bring both the legs together. And we are going to do Ardha Salabhasana now. As you inhale, start raising the right leg straight up, keeping the knee straight. Take it as high as possible. Let's stay for a breath and come down and let's do it for the left leg take a deep breath in and take the left leg up keep the knee straight and down and let's do it two more times for each leg inhale right and down inhale left Down. Keep the glute muscles engaged. Try to take the leg as high as possible without bending the knees. And last time on the left side. And down. Bring the hands forward. And relax in Makarasana. Salabhasana is great for strengthening the lower back and preventing any lower back related issues. Let's take one more deep breath and then slowly come up. Then extend both your legs in front, bend the left knee and bring the left foot at the base of the right thigh. Look forward and we are going to do Janu Shirshasana now. So straighten your spine and as you inhale, extend both the arms up and as you exhale, start bending forward. Now here, try to keep your spine long and even if you're just halfway there today, it's perfectly fine. Try to bend from your hips, keeping the spine long. Try to keep the right foot flexed so that the toes point towards you. And let's stay here in Janu Shirshasana for three deep breaths. With every inhale, elongate the spine. And with every exhale, go a tiny bit forward if you can. Again, inhale, elongate. Exhale, go forward. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, go forward. Breathing into the nice stretch in the back of the right leg. And slowly come up. Let's switch side and do it for the other side. Bend the right knee. Inhale, extend the arms up. Exhale, start bending forward. Coming to Janu Shirshasana. 
keep the left foot flexed inhale elongate the spine exhale fold forward inhale elongate exhale fold forward very good last time inhale elongate exhale fold forward and slowly come back up very good let's just bring both the feet together to come into Baddha Konasana the butterfly pose as you inhale elongate the spine exhale bend forward feeling a nice stretch in the inner thighs another great and simple pose just for stretching the groin area and improving overall reproductive health and slowly come up very good we'll end with a short deep breathing practice so let's come into an easy cross-legged sitting position ground your sit bones into the mat elongate your spine and roll the shoulders back bring one hand onto your abdomen and the other hand on your chest and let's start taking a few deep breaths. With the next breath, as you inhale, feel your belly expanding out. And as you exhale, the belly softens and goes in. Again, inhale. Expand the belly out like a big balloon and as you exhale, the belly softens and goes in. Again, inhale, expanding the belly, exhale slowly, the belly goes in. Now with the next breath, as you inhale, first your belly expands out. And as you inhale a bit more, feel the chest also expanding out. As you exhale, the chest softens and then the belly goes in. Again, inhale deeply, expanding the belly followed by the chest. Exhale slowly, the chest softens followed by the belly. Keep going on. Inhale deeply, exhale slowly, inhale deeply, exhale slowly. Bring both your hands to your knees. In Chin Mudra, keeping your eyes closed. And we'll end with three Om Chants. Take a deep breath in. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Keeping your eyes closed, bring your hands to heart center and let's start rubbing the palms to create heat in the palms. Slowly bring your hands over your eyelids. And feel the healing heat of the palms through the eyelids. Slowly bring the hands down. 
and open your eyes. Hope you enjoyed today's practice. I'll see you with a new video soon. Till then, take care and bye-bye.